It's day 172, 2016, and today we talk about a thousand core processor, Toyota's self driving ambitions, and yet another iPhone leak. This is Phone Arena Daily. Let's begin. Japanese car manufacturer Toyota has decided to invest $1 billion into developing its own artificial intelligence. This will definitely pave the way for driverless cars for the company, but initially it wants to focus on safety. So it wants to avoid accidents that are beyond one's lane. So usually the AI currently employed in cars like Tesla are like just surrounding the car and it's a limited area of view. So eventually companies would want to create a mesh network of sorts to have communication between different cars. So that might change things. Maybe that's what Toyota is talking about here, but they have decided to invest a lot of money into this technology and also be in the race with other companies like Honda, BMW, and everyone has been investing in this. So let's see what happens. A curious team of scientists have created what they call a kilo core, which is basically a microchip with thousand processors. You heard that right, that's thousand processors and these are fabricated with IBM's 32 nanometer technology and these are actual processors. So the thousand processors each can handle individual tasks and each run at a speed of 1.78 gigahertz. So they say that this is like the most efficient and fast multiprocessor technology that's there. And they claim to have dissipated very little power and eventually they say this can be enabled by a couple of AA size batteries. So that's what they claim. And these thousand processors act in unison and probably their way of handling the cores is what differentiates them from the other processors. So pretty interesting technology but let's see where this goes from here. Motorola has tweeted out that the G4 is coming to India on the 22nd of this month. While the G4 and the G4 Plus were launched alongside, the G4 Plus was the only one that went on sale on the same day on Amazon.in for 13,500 and it's going to be happening the same way this time. It's just on the 22nd for the Moto G4 and the pricing has not been revealed yet. So we cannot guess what it could be. Might be in the range of 8,000 to 9,000, we're not sure. So let us know what you think about the pricing of the Moto G4, what it should be in the comment section below. And possibly if you have been waiting for the G4, this is the date market down 22nd of this month. Following a leak from last month, a new leak yet again from China claims that the 3.5mm audio jack will still be intact in the Apple iPhone 7 or at least one of the variants of the Apple iPhone 7. The leak is an image that shows off components and interestingly it also includes a dual SIM slot which might indicate that Apple is finally turning its attention towards big Asian markets and definitely wants to sell more of the iPhone 7 because dual SIM is definitely a high-end feature now. So the 3.5mm jack is there, there is a dual SIM slot and also the dual camera setup in this image. So most of the rumors are coming true if this image is true. But what do you think? Do you think Apple should go with a dual SIM slot? That's the point of discussion today and let us know what you think in the comment section below on Apple and dual SIM. So that's about it for today's show. Check out the deal of the day, which is in the description below. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later with more technology news. Thanks for watching.